Hey Summit, this is Edward, this is Jake. We are here today to uh, bring you our weekly update. And we have a lot going on right now uh, with the summer and the activities and all that good stuff. Um, you know, one of the things we're learning through this uh, COVID thing, oh, by the way, wait a minute, share this video right now, share this video, wherever you are, whatever platform. So anyway, what I was saying is what we're Did you see me last Sunday come up after the wrong song to do the announcements? <laughs> yes, I did. A lot and of a lot of people don't know this, but I am a professional hey. interrupter. Hey. Hey. Hey, you yeah. came in on the wrong part. I did. Sunday. But this is what a lot of people don't understand. I, I'm actually, a lot of people don't know this, I'm a professional interrupter. Are you really? Yeah, and uh, if you need anybody to interrupt anything. You uh, do a really good job. Yeah, and I can do weddings. I can be that guy, you know, if anybody objects, you know, say so at this time. I've done a couple of funerals, quinceaneras. Yeah, so, you know, and here's the funny thing. If you don't have any idea what we're talking about, you need to go back and watch last week's 11 Speaking of interruptions, service. Edward, did you... <laughs> I think when this whole COVID thing started, I think Satan saw this as an opportunity to kind of interrupt what the church is doing. Yeah. But God has done some amazing things at Summit Heights during the last three months during COVID. That's, that's true. Giving has been good. That's true. Serving has been good. Uh, ministry has been off the charts. And so what he meant as an interruption, God's turned it around, man. We're doing fantastic. I want to brag on you, Summit. Sorry, well, hey, didn't let, mean let, to interrupt. Let me interrupt you okay. and get you to talk about some of the things like Kid Venture Live, those boxes, CR. Kind yeah, of talk we're a having, little bit about that. So we're having great success uh, with our children's ministry, making those boxes on Sunday mornings. And because we're not able to have Kid Venture Live this year in person, they're actually making Kid Venture Live boxes. And those are going to be ready to pick up Sunday, July 5th. And it's going to be sort of at your own pace, but it's going to have all the content that would have originally been uh, presented at Kid Venture Live. And so you're going to be able to take that home with your Kid Venture kids and have Kid Venture Live at home. How cool is that? I love it, dude. I love it. Now, you now Celebrate Recovery, what's going on there? Celebrate Cause... Recovery has started meeting again with no child care, but they're back to their normal schedule. They have a meal at six and it's served by one person. They're social distancing okay. at CR. And then they'll have their time of music, worship, uh, the lesson, and then they'll break up into their groups. And so if you have been out, if you've been taking a break from Celebrate Recovery, we invite you to come back if you've never been. Thursday nights at six o'clock. It's fantastic ministry. It's a great way to plug in. Uh, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. And that's not just for alcohol no. and drug. That's for hurts, habits, and hang -ups. I actually attended for my interrupting habit. Yeah, well, you probably need to go back yeah. because you're reverting back yeah. and work those steps. So yeah. it wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah. So, uh, and the dogs now are rest, wrestling behind yeah, us great, again. Man. I just love uh, it. You know, you think about those interruptions and you think about... I think the reason I did that Sunday, Edward, was uh, Austin was leading worship so good. I just got lost in... Did I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. So anyway, what I was saying is, is one of the things we've learned is um, interruptions are a part of life. And part of... Jesus handled interruptions. He did. And that's probably what I was thinking about since you're imitating Jesus right now. Yeah, he did well, great. no, you're not imitating Jesus. You're you're the people in Jesus's journey hey, that interrupt him. He interrupted the, the Pharisees. He, remember right. when he ch turned the tables over? That's right. That's he right. barged in and did that here's probably what, after one song. Here's what we know about Jesus is <laughs> after one song. What we know about Jesus is, is the interruptions of life did not interrupt his ministry. He continued to love people. He always had time for people and to love on them and to minister to, to them and to heal them, to restore them. And that's such an encouragement during this season. As we're, we're joking today about last Sunday, it was a lot of fun and we love family and we are family at Summit. The reality is life's full of interruptions. And I know some of you feel like this whole last three months has been one big interruption. And and maybe it has been, I don't know. I don't know how you Not for me, that. I'm used to it. Uh, but for, I think for us to learn from this is what is God trying to teach us during this season? What is he trying to um, impart to us so that we are better Jesus followers during this season? So I just wanna encourage you with that. Um, we look forward to Sunday. Uh, elders met last night, and uh, we don't have any uh, uh, information for you on the next phase. We're watching what's going on, as I'm sure you are as well. 
in the news and so we want to be wise with that and continue to watch that so that we can make the next decision uh, as far as what it looks like as we move forward with the church so ministry still happening with all the things children youth celebrate recovery food ministry worship ministry teaching ministry it's still happening and so we're excited about that uh, I encourage you uh, by the way we kind of talked about whether we wanted to mention this or not, but for all you Facebook users out there, one of the ways you can help us is when you come into church on Sunday morning, there is a check-in. Uh, I don't really understand it because I don't have Facebook, and so if you don't have Facebook, don't worry about it. If you have Facebook, you can go to uh, your Facebook page when you get somewhere, either like the Dollar Store or Sonic or Brookshire's or Red Rooster. Summit Heights, check in. And here's what that does for us. That allows our page to get more coverage. That allows more people who are online to see that there is a lot going on there. So if you'll take a few minutes each time you arrive at the building and just check in at Summit Heights, and that'll continue to build our online platform because we're still online, nine o'clock and 11 o'clock in our services. Um, you can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on Vimeo during the week e-tex cable so we're still doing ministry all across all those platforms and here's peggy thank you siding so hey we love you cannot wait to see you sunday so uh have a great weekend we'll see you sunday